What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlook here. Should come talk. We're going to be talking about Scream 6 in this video here again today. Now, Scream 6 we know is going to be starting its production out of Montreal in a couple of weeks and we are still awaiting to know who the new cast members will be. We already got a crop of survivors joining us for this new adventure with Ghostface as they leave Woodsboro. The survivors included uh, going out into their next chapter in life. But I wanted to talk about Sam Carpenter in this video mostly and kind of relating to Hank Loomis and whether or not we will see Hank Loomis in this movie and how Hank Loomis could factor into a Scream 6. Now, shout out to one of my good friends, Cass Clark. Uh, they recently did an article talking about Hank Loomis and his, pro and his role in this franchise. So the thing that intrigued me was that Hank Loomis could, of course, be someone brought in to give more insight for Sam, who might be a little bit curious to address someone tied to the Loomis lineage, someone alive that we know of at this stage, I guess is still Hank Loomis, because we don't know what, what she's gonna be dealing with in Scream 6 just yet. We are expecting that Tara and her friends will be dealing with college and all of the college struggles that go into that, but where has Sam gone as far as her life? What is she up to? What is she dealing with traumatically and trying to cope with? Has she maybe developed a bond with Sydney that's led to her wanting to reach out to Hank Loomis. And Hank Loomis could be someone who she shares scenes with where they talk about Maureen Prescott and go into some more details about Maureen because I know a lot of people would want to have Maureen brought up in some capacity. I'm not saying this could be a sequence in which you make this all about Maureen once again, but maybe there's just something that Sam herself is interested in knowing since a lot of what what has transpired and what has happened with Sydney Prescott, Sydney Prescott's mom, and now of course Sam dealing with the sins of her own father, they can all be led back to certain actions that Hank Loomis himself has made. So whether or not we see him in the movie, I don't know. I do think it would be great to see him once again. He hasn't appeared on screen in person since the original film. He had a he had a I guess a brief appearance in via video in Scream 3 when Roman was going through his whole spiel and why he was doing what he was doing. But maybe we learn in Scream 6 that Sam Carpenter herself has started digging into a little bit more of who she is, where she comes from, and just wants answers, trying to understand why certain people in her life made the decisions that they decided to make, which ultimately led to what Billy did, ultimately led to or contributed to it in some capacity. Because all these people who have done these things, they're still responsible themselves for what they did. Not to say that it undermines the things that have also happened to them that brought them to these heinous acts that they did. But still, they're the ones who decided to follow up on all that pent up frustration by going on murderous rampages and maybe Sam herself is trying to do some soul searching so that she doesn't end up like her father maybe that's still a fear that she has that she's going to end up just like Billy so trying to understand what Hank Loomis was thinking when he got involved with Maureen maybe Hank will dish out more details about Maureen and maybe this ties into maybe a little bit of the friction going on in the household between Sam Carpenter and Sam Carpenter and Christina Carpenter because with Sam and Christina well with Christina I'll just say we are already expecting them to have Christina Carpenter in the film so if she actually is in the movie and going off of that audition tape where it sounds like somebody is yelling for Carla who going off of what I think from that audition, audition tape I think Carla is a cold for Sam Maybe Christina and Sam have some friction because of her reaching out to the Loomis family. In this case, it would be Hank Loomis. So maybe that's why we hear them yelling her name. Maybe there's some friction in the household. Maybe there's a, a divide going on between herself and her mother. But Tara, of course, is still sticking right there with Sam. They all live together. They've gone, they've gone closer. Tara's away at college. But Sam herself is still dealing with where she comes from and she's trying to digest who she is and learn some new details about that through reaching out to Hank Loomis. Not saying it's going to happen. I just think that if Hank Loomis were to appear, it'd be a great thing to see. Maybe he can shed some small bit of more details about Maureen Prescott and her life and how they ended up beginning their affair and what transpired that led him to get involved in said affair. That could just be eye opening for Sam to kind of understand where he was when he did that. And just, I guess Sam herself just looking for ways to kind of cope with where she comes from even further. But jumping into something else. Now, 
this isn't necessarily confirmed, but potentially from what I saw, the budget, according to this article that likes to cover Montreal based projects, I think it's what's titled Journal de Montreal, and I'll leave a link to it in the description. They went over the cast of the Scream 6 project coming out, and then it got into the fact that this movie looks like it's going to have a budget of $35 million. $35 million is, I think, five mil. No, actually, that's no. Because I think Screen 4 was actually closer to $100 million. I think this would make it the second highest in terms of the budget. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section, please. But $35 million, I think, is more than enough for a Screen movie. I think this also lends to maybe a, hint, maybe a sign of who they have gathered up in the cast. Or maybe just having certain actors involved a little bit more heavily. And also maybe speaks to, if true, things they want to accomplish this time around while they're shooting still potentially of course at mcgill university a lot of the different elaborate things you could have unfold maybe you'll get those chase sequences that you wanted to have and maybe these chase sequences will be very suspenseful and just a lot of i guess them trying to go outside of that box i i know a lot of people feel they were trapped in when it relates to the production of scream 5 scream 5 feeling very contained so with scream 6 and them having a bigger budget obviously this would be a sign of confidence from the success that came from scream five with scream six if it has a budget of 35 million dollars that would be more than enough for a for a slasher movie some might think it's a little bit too much but given the things that they might want to accomplish we'll probably see why they had that budget and of course until we know who these new survivors are this probably somebody in the cast that is needing to have their you know their check signed with a few extra zeros or somebody else who's returning that needs a few extra zeros because you're using them a lot more this time around but we'll see what happens i know people are still honing in on whether or not nev campbell will be back if she will return i at this point if it comes that announcement is going to be probably days prior to filming starting i still think it'll come with the reveal of the rest of the new cast they might actually pull a plot twist on you and save her alone for her own special announcement after revealing the new cast members first just to even get you more intrigued as to whether or not she'll be back i still think it would be best if they just save her as a surprise honestly at this point save her as a surprise so let everybody be floored in the theater but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post if you guys didn't miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video